It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy, Cal Batty. Let's get open for business here. Let's wake up those football gods up there. You know, I got to tell you, it seems to me that some of these Eagle fans out there are a little salty right now. You know, it's kind of funny. Because they say, yeah, your team hasn't beaten anybody. You beat the Giants, you beat the Redskins, and you beat Miami. But you know what? Here's the thing, Eagle fans. You play the people that's on your schedule. And you take care of them. You kick their ass. You don't let the sloppy teams get a 17 on you to open the season. And I don't want to hear this crap that, well, we're injured. Because you weren't injured against the Washington Redskins, you end up having to have a shootout with them and hold on for dear life at the end against the Washington Redskins. They're in the process of firing their damn coach, who they can't even spell London Fletcher when they're honoring the guy. They can't even keep sodas in the concession stand. How do I know? Because we waited for a quarter and a half time for some damn soda, and they ran out of Pepsi. How the hell do you run out of Pepsi when they're an official NFL sponsor? Yes, Eagle fans, you guys fell short to them. You know, it's kind of funny. It's kind of like Indians. I learned something when I was working at the National Indian Museum in Washington, D.C. You know... The Indians believe in the circle of life, which means working in that museum is a pain in the butt because there's no such thing as a square raw wall, a straight wall. Everything's a freaking curve. It's at an angle. It's skewed. It's got a bow to it. But things come around full circle. I don't know if you've seen my buddy, Philly. Philly, don't you lose my number. Because I'm going to find you and troll you. Philly did this a few months ago. Let, let's, let's roll the tape here. I'm so tired of this thing. funny. Here's the wind! Let's go, Sasson! Friends, Mark Holmes, and the Cowboy Dope. Hmm. The North Dakota Assassin. Hmm. Yes, the North Dakota. He is the stuff of nightmares. Oh, but not of the Cowboys, mind you. Because I think he's gotten one victory against my quarterback, Dak Prescott. Just one. And right now, it, it, soon, I think some of them Philly fans might want to be assassinating him. But, you know, that was then. You saw how confident my buddy was, Philly. Let's roll another tape here. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody doing? King Ding Bat here, and I hope everybody's having a great Monday. Me, look, it's been a depressing, frustrating 24 hours. I am... I'm pissed, man. I'm pissed. pissed that we lost to the Detroit Lions. I, I, I wait, wait, wait. Think... Hold on, hold on. Did you see our pick segment? Did you see our pick segment on Sunday? We got 13 or 16 games right. And we called it. We told you, Philly. You don't ever listen to me, buddy. You never, ever listen to me. I keep trying to tell you. I told you the Lions were going to come in there and kick that ass. 
They kicked that ass, boy. Let, let's keep going. It's an unexcusable loss. You you cannot lose this game. And I, I don't mean no disrespect to the Lions. But they came in and did what they had to do. You know, but man, we can't afford to lose. This was a game we cannot afford to lose. Mm -hmm. It is not. And to me, it puts us in a really tough situation. Must win situation. Uh, it puts us in a desperate situation. Not just because you don't want to go down 1-3, but because of the teams in the NFC, because of how good Dallas has been playing. What? I'm concerned, and I'm worried. And um, He's worried. Look, there, there's a lot of things to unpack with this whole game yesterday. Yeah, there really is. And 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 I, I didn't rewatch it. I, I can't is he crying? I, I didn't watch I think he's crying. I didn't watch the Sunday night game. I didn't watch most of the four o'clock games. I, I watched oh. a little of the end of the Giants game. We got the same record as the Giants right now. How pathetic is that? Really? Oh. I mean it, that, that You know what? At the moment, Philly Philly I don't know that you should be talking about the Giants. Because it seems like they have new life behind Daniel Jones. It seems like, unlike in Philly, that the team's rallying around their quarterback. In Philly, not so much. That's horrible, man. And and we're we're in a tough situation. And we're gonna really get tough. A more into that in this Green Bay game in a minute, you know. But there, there's a few things I gotta say. First thing, I think it's very fair. It's very fair to say that me. A lot of Eagle fans, a lot of us out there, overestimated the depth that we have on this team. What? We thought we were one of the deepest teams in the league. But I think what... So, Philly, you could alleviate this problem, son. You could alleviate this problem if you just listen to me. I told you, Philly, I told you. I told you you had a bunch of old-ass guys that couldn't stay healthy. Didn't I tell you that? D didn't I tell him that? He don't listen. What we're seeing is that some of the guys that we thought a little more of aren't as good as we thought at least not yet and what am i talking about i'm talking about specifically the wide receiver position you lose to sean jackson all sean jeffrey and we were all mm -hmm. happy about jj ortega mm -hmm. one side yeah he's the yep. dude that can go up and win the one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. battle that's why we drafted him he is yeah. like all sean jeffrey type guy mm -hmm. and i bought into it i'm all for it yesterday with the game on the line he goes up, the ball, and I mean, a beautiful, beautiful pass. I mean, perfect pass, hits his wrist. Both hands on it, miss, hits his wrist and bounces to the ground. That's not what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to make that catch. All Sean Jeffrey makes that catch. I believe 90% of the receivers in the league make that catch. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect pass. Where was where was Ortega Whiteside the rest of the game besides him, that that play? Where was he last week? If you look at his all twenty-two last week, there wasn't very much separation. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh, yes, he's a rookie mm -hmm. and he's got a lot to learn. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he didn't show up. Right, right. It, it's a letdown. I, I keep thinking, what if the Eagles took DK Metcalf there? He was on uh -huh. the board. I bet you DK he's doing some things in Seattle. Play. He's already made some plays in Seattle, just as good as that. So. You know, I, I think it's fair to say right now that our depth at the wide receiver position is not as good as we thought. It is not as good. Because it we stinks, are Billy. Totally different without Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson, especially Deshaun Jackson. But we need Alshon Jeffrey back this week. So, you know, you have him. You have mm -hmm, Matt Collins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He drops a ball. You have Nelson Aguilar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I've never, ever in my life, and I mean this truthfully, I've never seen a guy air fumble. <laughs> the wind blows and he fumbles. Maybe the earth is rotating. And that's why the ball slipped out of his hands. I don't know. But he fumbled oh, and nobody Philly, Philly. touched him. Never seen it. Never seen that. Three points. I mean, Peters went over there. I don't know if you guys heard. And Peters started yelling at him. And then he got all frustrated. And there was like a little bit of an argument, whatever. And then he was all pissed. In the second half, he scored two touchdowns to me. I don't care about those touchdowns. Uh -huh. Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar, yeah. I'm telling you, when I think of Nelson Aguilar, I think of Chip Kelly. I just do, you know. Oh, oh man. But they are so bad, they're they going back to Chip Kelly. Seven purposes. drops. Horrible, horrible, horrible performance. Horrible. Got her, That's too. Horrible. Just I mean, like look, a team, man, horrible, horrible, horrible. We, we give Dallas a hard time, right? We give the Cowboys oh, wait, 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 fans wait, wait, a hard wait. time about their team and whatever, and they're playing yeah, no wise. But wait, they're wait. taking care of business, and you got to give them credit. And not only that, 
they get production out of their their draft picks. They're getting production <laughs> out of the guys that they drafted. So you gotta give them some credit. I hate that team. I still want them, but we're not getting the same production out of our team. Listen. Goddard, drop the ball. Aguilar, first round pick. Brandon Graham, first round pick, no sacks. Derek Barnett, no sacks. I took so much heat for my opinion <laughs> of when they drafted Derek. Oh, I'm just going to stop there because, you know what, Philly? We're going to turn the heat up on you, my man. Because, see, you said something about, I believe, I, I, I should pull up the clip. I said, I think my Dallas Cowboys are going to go 11-5, and five. okay? I wasn't, you know, the homer pick that, oh, we're going to go 14-2 and two, or anything like that. I believe you said 13-3. and three. How's that 13-3 and three looking right now, Philly? I bet it's looking just like you. Looking bad, Philly. You looking bad, my man. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right there. But you have a must-win situation here going to Green Bay on a short week. Tomorrow will be a travel day for your team. You need a mass unit. You need some help. You might even need some divine intervention here. But for some reason, it seems like your team is not playing inspired. They don't seem to be rallying behind their quarterback. In fact, I couldn't believe what I saw with offensive linemen just standing around as your quarterback was getting lit the heck up. Philly, I ask you, what the hell is going on in Philadelphia? Well, that's the end of my time right here, fellas. I'm Cal Patty, and I'm talking some shit. I'll see you guys later.